Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. Uh, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and today I want to salute the work of a comedy legend, Mr. Carl Reiner. As a performer, writer, director, he's been making people laugh for over half a century. Carl has won nine Emmys, nine for his television work. He also won the Grammy for creating the 2,000-year-old man with uh, Mel Brooks. He's really, he's one of those guys who's kind of won every single award possible, including Lifetime Achievement from the uh, Writers Guild and the Directors Guild. I mean, he's one of the most consistently successful comedy directors of all time. From Where's Papa to Oh God to All of Me until the film that we're uh, going to look at today. Uh, probably his biggest hit, The Jerk, starring Steve Martin. Carl Reiner is a hero to me. He's one of the main reasons I became a screenwriter. The Dick Van Dyke show that Carl created presented to the world the idea that comedy writing could be an actual occupation, a profession. Rob Petrie was a good man with a beautiful family and a nice house in New Rochelle, and he got it all by writing jokes for a living. <laughs> now, I grew up in a factory town in Indiana, but when I watched that show, wow, I knew it was a better life. And even today, when people ask me uh, how Scott and I work together as a team, you know, how's it work? How's it work with you guys? I tell them, well, I'm Maury Amsterdam and Scott's Rose Marie. <laughs> and people get it because Carl really understood the dynamics of working in the comedy room. It's probably from his years being a part of the legendary Sid Caesar, your show of shows troupe, but mixing it up with the likes of Mel Brooks, Neil and Danny Simon, Mel Tolkien. You know, so much of Carl's work is actually about showbiz, about comedy. You know, a TV show about TV, movies about making movies. For example, I love the first two films he directed, Enter Laughing and The Comic. I think they're Reiner's most personal work. They examine the nature of being a performer, what it takes to make an audience laugh. The film we're running the trailer for, The Jerk, was the first of a bunch of movies Carl made with Steve Martin. Uh, the two made a perfect fit. Steve Martin was so revolutionary when he popped on the scene because his comedy was among the first to comment on what comedy is. You know, wearing an arrow through his head as a postmodern concept. Uh, calling an album, Comedy is Not Pretty. I mean, heck, that could have been the ad line for uh, the comic. The Jerk is completely absurd, but it also could be looked at as a cautionary tale about the trappings of fame. Navin Johnson's life goes completely downhill once he gets his name in the phone book and becomes successful. He was born a poor black child, but he was loved and he was happy. Now he can't live without his material items, his ashtray, the remote control, the paddle game, his magazine, and the chair. I mean, it's a very funny movie. Reiner and Martin followed up with an odd film experiment, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, where Martin acts against old scenes of Bogart and Barbara Stanwyck and Veronica Lake. Once again, it's silly, but it's postmodern, a movie that comments on the nature of movies. Today, Reiner is in his 90s. He still acts and writes books. Uh, recently, he's done memoirs entitled uh, I Remember Me and its sequel, I Just Remembered. Well, I hope he keeps remembering for a very long time. I am not a bum. I'm a jerk.